It's Super Sentai time! Well, actually, it's Metal Heroes time. Remember Metal Heroes? Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today we're gonna have a look at the SH Figure Arts Wind Spectre Fire, which is not a figure I had my eyes on for a long time, but uh, I was like, ah, you know what, it's like, yeah, you, you buy so much stuff, and this is something I'm not really that much invested in. It has a lot of nostalgia to it, and that's why I really wanted it. And uh, Big Bad Toy Store recently had a sale. Maybe he's still up for sale for like 15, 20 bucks. So I finally decided to get him, and now here we are. So let's have a look at the figure. Ah, yes, Metal Heroes, another fragment of the 90s. I think that was when, really, when Super Sentai really started taking off. Also in America, and they said, like, you're gonna have more. And uh, I remember even Wind Spectre being on German television. Completely dubbed and completely changed, so whatever. He stands at about 14 and a half. I'm sorry, but uh, it's always like nostalgia with these guys. I, I like it. 14 and a half centimeters, a little shy of 6 inches tall. And overall look and detail of the figure. It has a lot of metallic paint job on it. I mean, it's Metal Hero, so obviously, what are you expecting? So let's not get too far in there. The camera one can't handle it. So we have a lot of metallic detail in the helmet. That's really where where it shines. Also the neck part, if you can see, like there's all this mechanics and stuff. And then you can flip up the visor. You have them big yellow eyes under there. I mean, do I call it eyes? As we go down to the red and black, he has the blue line in the chest piece and more detail. As you can tell, the black is a bit more muted, the red is super shiny, nice metallic paint job, and I dig that. The red, the grey, same thing, and then as you go over to the black, there's even some gold in his wrists. Let me give you another spin around of the back, and uh, Wind Spectre, his inspector, his police logo. More gold in the crotch piece, a holster for his gun, and more molded detail in the knee parts. It's also very nicely done. We have some lack lines and going down to the boots. Well, it looks like boots. It looks like a, like a weird space robotic police uniform. Having a look at the articulation, I want to start off with the hat. Has some nice wiggle room. Really has a. They, they left a bit of a bit of a gap between the helmet and the neck, so you get back and forth motion. Obviously, the visor goes up. I mean, I showed you that. Goes all the way around. The neck is. It's kind of loose. But it's okay. Again, get some more motion out of it. As for the shoulder, you got hinges on the shoulder pad itself, and the shoulder is connected to the chest area, so you can rotate it around. I think it is on a long pack, and you have a hinge in the shoulder itself. But that hinge doesn't really go up that much. As you can tell, maybe this is in the way. Let me see. No, this is really about as much as you get. Not quite 45 degrees. You have bicep swivel. Double hinged elbow. What just fell down? Something fell down. Oh, his elbow pad. There's the elbow pad. It's supposed to cover this up. But uh, yeah, just packed in there. All right. Without the elbow pad, it goes up like that. Let me see with with the elbow pad. Is that blocking it? No. Doesn't get in the way. Then we got the fist on the ball hinge. So you can rotate it around, bring it up and down, back and forth. The torso articulation is really weird, and I tried it out actually. Uh, it disconnects very easily. So, in here, we got what all, uh, I thought it was a big hinge, but it's actually nothing, it doesn't, doesn't move around. And instead of having a long pack, they just have a, a tiny ball pack, which is on an even smaller hinge. So, result, it doesn't, doesn't really do anything. It looks clean, I gotta give him that, you can't pull it up because of the hinge, but that's it. You can pull it up and then it wiggles side to side, goes back and forth like a Pac-Man mouth, nom 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 nom. And it does go all the way around, I gotta give him that, or not. No, it doesn't. Actually, I lied. I thought it would, but <laughs> no. And then we got the lower piece. Has some more rotation, has some more wiggle room. I mean, overall, if you combine the two, it's decent, I'd say. For having still a clean design, don't have any gaps, and uh, you know, it's really busy in the chest area. Then the uh, crotch piece. Let me see, that also doesn't go all the way around, I only get some wiggle motion. Does go back and forth, some humping going on with that. Then the legs, again, very busy, go forward very nicely, go to the back. You really have to rotate it on the thigh part, 
to get it around because th this is where really is blocking itself. If you're getting this up, it doesn't really do anything. So it goes for, let me see, can you pull it down? No, you can't really pull it down. It's a big, it seems to me like this is a big, big ball in there. And just, it's covered up nicely, but really it doesn't go out to the side. Then again, the Metal Heroes weren't really known for being super articulated. You got the double hinged knee with the knee pad in there. Does it rotate around? No, there was no rotation in that. The boot, no, neither. And then we have a nice anchor rocker, goes side to side, not too far, but gets the job done, goes forward. Doesn't really go back, and a toe hinge, finally, that also goes down. One of these weird toe hinges. Now for your accessories, gonna start it off with the hands. You got the two open hands, just regular open hands. Well, posing hands, has some nice detail on it. Doesn't focus right now, there you go camera, thank you for catching up. Got these. And then you got regular holding hands for the sword. I'm guessing it's more for the sword or if you just want to casually hold the gun. If you don't want to casually hold the gun, you have two fingers, two hands with trigger fingers actually for your gun action. Then you have a gun. It's very nicely molded. I like it. It looks simple, but it looks cool. Paint job on it. Metallic. And you have a little hinge on the holster, on the handle, basically. To put it in a holster, if you put it in like that, it's just up, and then if you feel firing with it, you flip it down. And finally, you have the sword, which is very nicely molded, again, with the metallic metal heroes. Metal heroes, gonna have metallic, and uh, it really just wraps around his arm, and then you put the hand in there. I'm gonna put that in a post real quick as we move on to the final thoughts. And it's gonna do it, it's gonna bring me to the final thoughts, what do I think about this Wind Spectre? But one more thing, one more thing. The elbow pad keeps going bye-bye, the one that already fell off during the review. And if you want to have the sword on there, it kind of slides onto the arm. So it, it's kind of molded so it matches the arm and it kind of slides on it. And it does, you have that extra grip with the fist. But it's on there very nicely, just as a result you can't have the shoulder pad because there's just no room, especially for this part. So that's a bit of a problem, but uh, if you straighten it out, you can try to jam it on there, but I'm not really about that life. I want to have like more like yeah, yeah, going into battle like that. So I like that. Overall thoughts of this figure. I like this guy. Again, with uh, you're probably going to hear me say that a lot in the coming reviews because I bought a lot of stuff that was on sale recently. A lot of stuff that I had my eye on for a long, long time, but I finally got the good deals on it. So when I'm seeing something on sale, I always have my doubts. I always have something in the back of my mind thinking, oh, maybe the figure is bad, but the figure is great. Honestly, I can't really complain about anything. It looks great. Maybe, maybe the helmet is a little bit too big, but uh, it really depends. I mean, I looked at a couple of pictures to kind of refresh my memory, and I think it's all right. Definitely nothing that, that's, that stands out too much. The detail on it looks fantastic. The metallic paint job looks fantastic. And the articulation for such a heavy armored guy is all right. I mean, it could be better, but stuff can always be better. So there you go. I do recommend this guy once again. If uh, he still is on, on sale on Big Bad Toy Store, go get him there. He only costs a couple bucks. He's really cheap there right now. And if not, sorry. I don't know. Go look somewhere else. That's gonna do it though. Uh, as usual guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, gameplay stuff, and whatever. Win Spectre Fire once.